Hello, everyone. Welcome to my gallery in Santa Fe, New Mexico. In this segment, we're going to look at a wonderful piece of pottery from Zuni Pueblo dating to perhaps 1890. The beauty in this piece of pottery is, is, is all in the subtlety. So let's look at some of them. To begin with, starting from the bottom, you can see an indentation. The, the piece of pottery looks older. And the reason for it is the indentation is caused by this pot upon creation by the potter. It rested in a bowl. Partial piece of pottery called a puki, P-U-K-I. And that left this indentation which today gives us this lovely sculptural form. Many of the design elements as we move up against this beautiful Zuni white slip are traditional elements we see oftentimes at Zuni Pueblo. What makes this wonderful is the medallion is a very early example of, of this form. These would eventually in years to come become very, very fancy. This one more plain, more primitive, more naive, more simple and with a negative shadow-like device where you can see uh, the white uh, forming a backdrop against the petals of, of the medallion. The red itself from the firing process became so dark that it's almost purple red. It may not have been the potter's intention, but it leaves us with a deep, rich, beautiful purple feel to the piece. Very high, uh, rather flat shoulder, indicative of the 19th century. And then even the chip has something for us to admire and to love old, old chip. It's very, very smooth. If you look closely, and our photographs uh, of this pot will capture this, there's a smooth black paint-like substance. What this is, is black pinon pitch that was used once the chip occurred through natural use. The pinon pitch helped this chip from eroding even further. So it's a native repair to maintain the integrity of a really, really wonderful jar we're fortunate enough to enjoy today.